In this video, we will share with you privacy-friendly, GDPR-compliant WordPress plugins we enjoyed using when building our old website. Old because we have migrated to coding our own website from scratch using HTML and CSS. More on that in another video. We do still think WordPress is a good and convenient way to make a website, so we thought we'd share our favorite plugins retrospectively. Links to the plugins are in the description and in our blog post. First of all, our WordPress website was built using the theme 2021. Our favorite thing about it was the dark mode and its simple layout. Polylang helps you build a multilingual website. It utilizes native WordPress.org language packages so that you don't have to translate the themes yourself. Add the languages you want your site to be in. Our website was in English, Dutch, and Chinese. You can manage string translations for elements such as website name, description, date format, etc. When you're in the pages or post view, the languages are clearly displayed. You can also choose from the top bar to only display posts in a certain language. Our site is primarily in English, so we normally work with the only English posts displayed and make translations to other languages from there. It is also very easy to navigate to different translations of a post in the blog editor. On the front end, you can include a language toggle on any of your menus. Here we have one for the main menu as well as one for the footer menu. One thing to note about Polylang is that it sets a persistent cookie to help store language settings of visitors. Note the local storage here is for dark mode. To disable the Polylang cookie, navigate to the plugins folder in your WordPress directory. In the include folder, edit the file cookie.php and comment out the parts where it sets the cookie at line 69 and 71. Save the code and revisit the page to see that the cookie is there no more. With every update though, you will have to redo this procedure. Oh, and please be careful when editing those PHP files. A little mistake can break the whole site. Next up, we have the plugin Dinosaur Game. This is a personal favorite of mine, a classic from the Chrome browser. We use the short code to add it to our 404 page. My high score is 7790. Let me know if you beat it. It also looks good in dark mode. Embed Privacy is a great plugin for embeds such as YouTube videos. For example, we want to open up this post, which has YouTube and Odyssey videos embedded. We can see, using the uBlock origin logger, that no activities from either of those services were logged. The plugin not only prevents them from loading, it also displays a nice privacy notice placeholder, which will only allow the embed to run after being clicked. You can also customize the placeholder's description, background image, and more. Not running embeds without visitor permission also makes your site run faster. We highly recommend this plugin. Matomo Analytics helps you track traffic to your website. If you must use tracking, Matomo is a good alternative to Google Analytics as it stores all data in your WordPress, meaning no sharing or selling of user information. For best practice, we recommend you anonymize visitor IP addresses Offer the option to opt out of tracking. Respect do not track browser settings. And we also choose to force no cookies so we don't have to display a cookie notice. There is also an informative GDPR section as well as a tool for visitors to exercise data access and erasure rights. Menu Icons is a plugin to add fun icons to your menus. Navigate to Menus view under Appearances and select the menu for which you want to add the icon. Here we are adding a home icon for the footer menu. You can also choose to hide the label so only the icon displays. But be mindful of accessibility for users with screen readers and such. Remove IP is a plugin that stops the logging of IP addresses from people that comment on your website. For example, this comment on our 404 page obviously not by me, along with all other comments, have a meaningless loopback address. WPS Hide Login As the name suggests, it hides your WordPress login page 
to help mitigate brute force attacks. Go to your general settings and change the login slug. For this demo, we changed it to No Way Jose. In an incognito mode, we can go to that URL and it will direct you to the login page. If we try to go to the usual wp-admin login page, it will redirect you to the 404 page. WP2FA adds an extra layer of security to your WordPress login. It is also compatible with the Hide Login plugin. Once enabled, you will need to enter an authentication code every time you log into your WordPress. There are also many customizations you can do. Random Post delivers a random post every time a visitor clicks on the link. It's a fun way to have visitors interact with the website. WP Front Scroll Top plugin adds a scroll to top button to your website. You can customize it to auto hide, change its size, hide in mobile view, and more. Here we are changing the image of the button. You can also add your own button too. WP Downgrade is a useful tool to rescue your website when a new core update breaks your website and plugins. With the new version 5.8 update, its new widget blocks broke our original footer that was made multilingual using Polylang, so we decided to downgrade WordPress altogether. All you have to do is type in the version you want to downgrade to and go to Updates under Dashboard and click to quote-unquote Update now. Remember to disable WordPress automatic updates so you can stay with the version you chose even when the next updates come out. These were our favorite WordPress plugins we used when making our old website. We hope you got something useful out of it for your own website building. Thank you for watching. Bye! Tot de volgende!